Lapidus pour om. Good things come to those who wait. Let's talk about it. Hey friends, John here from Proverbs 27, 9 Fragrances. And uh, today, as I said, we're gonna be doing a uh, little review of Lapidus Pour On. Uh, so, if you would go ahead and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment on what you think about this fragrance as well as others in this genre. And uh, like to say, have the notifications turned on that way you're notified every time we upload that sweet smelling fragrance related content. So I said good things come to those who wait. And uh, that is a good way to describe this fragrance because had, you know, if you don't wait on this fragrance and you're not really into this style, then you're going to, you're going to pass on it because honestly, the first 20 minutes, it's not what I particularly like. Um, this is, it's a 1987 fragrance from the house of Ted Lapidus, and it has that 80s kind of pea in the powder can, if you will, opening, all right? Much like Kuros, much like, um, uh, I almost said Lapidus Pour Om, much like Beaucheron Pour Om, um, not near as citrusy as that. It's, it's funny, this one, when I sprayed it uh, for the first time on a piece of paper, I noticed right away that it was really sweet, a lot sweeter than um, Beaucheron or uh, Habu Rouge or uh, Cool Rose, right? Um, and so I noticed the sweetness right away and I liked it, but <clears throat> it has that kind of urine-y, um, very powdery opening. But if you can get past that, and then like I said, it's only lasts 15 to 20 minutes, the dry down is fantastic. Um, it's, it's very sweet. It's very floral and woody. Um, this is one of those fragrances with, you know, all the notes in it. You say, what's in it? All of them. But it's known for the honey, tobacco, pineapple, um, rose, jasmine, lily of the valley. Uh, there's these great florals that come out again in the mid. Um, Brazilian rosewood, oak moss, patchouli, amber, musk. You say, well, what is it? It's all of those things. It's, it's, um, it's sweet with the pineapple and uh, there's tonka in it and it's musky and it's florally and it's woody and it's powdery. It's got orris in it. And um, so for, for guys that are younger, if you, if you have seen reviewers and folks talk about these old school fragrances and how great they are and then you spray them on and you're like, this is horrible. You need to wait. You need to give it, see, this come out in the 80s and in the 80s, I was a young man, I was born in 1980, but in the 80s we had this saying, good things come to those who wait. We now in 2023 and beyond, we expect everything immediately. We want our, I mean, TikTok, it shows us the average person's attention span is 20 seconds or less, it's crazy. So if you think that your fragrance has to smell you know, the way you want it to smell immediately, then you're not gonna like these older fragrances. But if you can spray it on and, you know, also another thing is we're, we're bad about spraying right and then sticking it right under our nose. When you smell a flower, the best way to smell a flower, pretend like this is a flower, is to kind of wave it in front of you. It's not to do this. Because if you do that, you're going to be smelling like the, the you know, pistol and the stamen, and all that, the, the, you know, you know, right up in there, the, the green and the, you know, pollen and, 
and, and all that. But if you get it out and you waft it, smells beautiful. Same thing with your fragrance. Fragrance isn't meant to be sprayed on skin and then you stick your nose right in it. It's meant to kind of, you know, to for people to smell you as you walk by. Nobody ever comes up to you and, you know, sticks their nose right on your body and smells your fragrance. So um, it's hard to judge a, a fragrance, especially these old school, very complex fragrances by, you know, sniffing right on top of it. But when you spray it and you let it breathe and you waft it around and you give it 20 minutes to calm down, this is not only a very wearable, but a very lovely, uh, elegant, um, woody, aromatic. Um, it's almost a, like a Shepra. I don't know the classification for it. It's not a, there's a little bit of a soapiness to it, but it's not like a barbershop aromatic fragrance. It's just a woody floral, um, very refined, very elegant fragrance. So that is my kind of first impression and, and um, thoughts on Lapidus Poron. Let me know what you think about this fragrance and others like it, Coros. Again, I think it's similar to Habit Rouge. Um, Beaucheron Poron come to mind in the opening. It's not near as citrusy as that one, um, but let me know what you think about it. All right, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Till we see you down the road, we say God bless. Frag on, frag on.